G'day folks. Ah, it's one of those nights again. Well, actually it's the start of the weekend. So it's Thursday night. Well, my weekend anyway. Work me shop, or day job four days a week, and then I get to play around as much as I want. So, uh, well, some people call it playing, some people call it work. But either way, I love what I do. And, uh, yeah, I'm just catching up on some cleaning up and projects. Got the bike parts still drying. Looking good though. I like the green and black. Um, you see the bandsaw's gone over there. That sheet metal there's just the uh, cover for the cassette. I'm just cleaning the coil and everything and giving it a once over. The jag engine's back down there too. So we've got plenty of room to work around and do cool things. I'm going to try and belt this power steering pump to this motor fairly quickly. I'm not going to waste too much time on it, but it'll just be one of those quick let's see if it explodes projects. So look out for that one. We'll see if it can handle the speed of a universal motor. I'm going to have to adapt a serpentine pulley to this though. I'll just unbolt this one or weld it to the front of it. Make, a, make an adapter ring and just weld the serpentine pulley to it. As long as it doesn't vibrate too much and make the table run away. It's all good. So yeah, it's a bit of a mess at the moment. Uh, I've got to try and See if we can uh, do a photonic induction with a small scale capacitor cannon. We've got some nice old unvented 63 volt 470 microfarad capacitors that could do with a bit of venting. Might stuff one down here with a couple of wires in it and just plug it off and yeah, boom, see if it works. That's just a solar pool heating tube. Um, yeah, bit, bits and pieces going on. Plenty of copper to cash in tomorrow. That's from the air conditioning scrap that I processed. That'll pay for the rest of the jag. Still got more coils and things. I netted roughly $300 from the last run, and there's still another three to 400 to go with all the other shit that I've gone through. I haven't emptied my brass bin, haven't emptied the copper bins. There's two buckets like that. Uh, I still haven't stripped the windings out of the compressor motors, although I will burn some up. I promise I'll do that. A lot of people have been waiting for motor burnouts, like that one. Might even stick a couple of ball bearings inside the stator and see what it does. Because that's still a good stator. Um, yeah, there's numerous projects and just not enough damn time to do them. So I apologise if I'm falling behind. I know I'm falling behind on my messages. A lot of people are trying to get onto me about things and I just don't have time to sit down and answer them all. If I did answer every and read every message, I wouldn't get anything done in here. And as it is, the computer consumes roughly 40% of the time that I spend out here, I actually spend in front of the computer. So that's how hectic it's getting, and I'm going to have to cut down on it. But either way, stay tuned for some more cool stuff. We'll try and drag some old projects out. We'll, um, yeah, just keep on at it. I'm not spending an awful lot of money. I've got to work on the Jag first. I need a really nice, reliable car. So we'll do everything new on the Jag, do the brakes and things. Get the crankshaft for the Kelly and Lewis. Send off to the uh, rebuilders and grinders soon if the price is right. If not, it's just going to sit here for a while. I can't do anything till I get that crankshaft done. It's just too rust, too rust pitted. It'll eat the bearings within one or two runs. So that's about it. Got the old Honda GV400 out of the corner too. I'll try and find a home for that. It's got the Briggs and Stratton cowling and shit on it. It's not original. But it works well. I think I put Volkswagen rings in that or something. They actually fit. I think, yeah, I think I just ground a bit off to change the ring gap. They were too tight. So yeah, I think that's running Volkswagen Beetle rings. But either way, I hope you all enjoy what's coming up. Long weekend. Uh, I know I'm probably going to be sleeping tomorrow because I'm bloody tired, but just right now I'm just tinkering around getting stuff ready. So, stay tuned for more.